one guys we have this question right here it's asking uh, for the two given views shown below construct a secondary auxiliary view of the oblique surface a use the fold line method and label all the vertices of the oblique plane so all of your work so in this case what i have to do is first of all i have to construct a phantom line between front view and the top view so first of all let's draw this line so to avoid confusion i'm going to name this uh, object so let's say this is one two three four so i have to name the same as in uh, top view so since if you look at took this object from top view this is going to be one this is going to be two and this will be three and this is four if you see this object from front view this is going to be my one this is going to be my three this is going to be my two and four so that's it then what i have to do is i have to go extend this line right here extend this and this is going to be my true length these two lines are true length so I extend this one and what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another phantom line right here that should be 90 degree to this this extended line so since I have this one here then what I have to do is I have to draw the edge view so to draw the edge view I have to measure this distance these two corners because edge view is just a line and this is going to be let's say this is my x and I have to measure this let's say this is 0 0.7 centimeter this is uh, like 1 point something like you have to measure this vertically not uh, not inclined vertically measure this one and let's say this is uh, y and this is 1.5 centimeter so I had to exactly transfer this same distance from here to here so if this is so this is one so I had to transfer from one line this line so this is going to be 0 0.75 right 75 so I had to transfer exactly 0 0.75 from here then if this is 0 0.15 from here let's say this is 0 0.1 uh, 1.5 so this is my edge view and what I have to do is now I have to draw a line that is 90 degree to this edge view and in this line I have to draw another phantom line that is 90 degree to the extended line now what I have to do is I have to measure this distance from this to here let's say this is 1.5 3 is 1.5 this is like uh, 2.5 let's say this is uh, 1.8 this is this is lesser than this so it's, let's say this is 1.2 and this is 1.3 no this is like 1 this is 1.3 right so let's uh, distance put the distance let's say this is 1.5 uh, this is 2.5 1.2 1. Uh, 1.3 right so 3 let, let's draw somewhere here okay so this is my final picture and this is this is going to be the true side but the final picture is going to be exactly it should exactly appear like one of these this picture the a picture so this is my true side now all I had to do is I had to number and label so then since this is 1 3 extended here so this in this edge view I had to label uh, 3 and 1 then here I had to label 4 and 2 so this is extended right here and the shortest distance is going to be 3 because that is near to this phantom line so that's how we extend it right so 3 1 then here the shortest one is 4 and two so this is my final and I have to name all of my all of my phantom lines this is going to be H this is going to be F H because it's horizontal the top line is the uh, top view is named as horizontal and front view 
in this one I have to name front view and one is this because this is first auxiliary view in this case here I have to draw one uh, name one and two because this is edge view is my first auxiliary view and two is the true side is my second auxiliary view so this is how we draw construct the second auxiliary view I hope you guys like this video see you next time